Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Myself Chirag Jogi. Uh, today's topic or the talk I'm going to represent is one of our customer, Reg United, where we have integrated 20 marketplace for and eight countries implementation for their apparel and brand industry. They are doing in manufacturing and distribution both. So how we have implemented using Udo whole solution with integration that I would going to talk about. You can scan this QR code right now so you can write on a questions on a pad over the session and later on we can have a discussion in detail. Okay. So just to give a glimpse about ourselves, uh, so we are a digital solution provider, uh, Brainware Infotech. We are into uh, in the market from last 22 years, uh, very strong into digital transformation, software, Anabar, and uh, giving a solution on top of uh, ERP, e-commerce, marketplace, mobility, iOS, Android application. So that's our core forte. We recently got awards from Udo as a customer satisfaction uh, award uh, in Middle East. We are present in uh, Dallas. Our headquarters is USA, Dallas. We have office in India. So 70% team sits in India and 30 plus in globally. So uh, US, Toronto, Singapore, Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, and India. So each country, we, we make sure like we have local team, local language speaker, and they talk on a localization as well. If you talk about Udo profile, then we are having a strong team of 350 consultant. Out of them, 180s are certified Udo consultant. Uh, 250 projects we've already done live, integrated and uh, implemented. Most of our uh, expertise into integrations. So lots of other different different types of payment gateway, shipping gateway, EDI, robotics, AIML integration that we already did. Myself into Udo from last 13 years, very strong in uh, uh, solution architect, uh, main core forte is into retail distribution manufacturing and consultation. So the case study that I'm talking today is more about Yek Reg United. They are based out of Hong Kong and having global presence in eight countries. So they are manufacturer in China. They have a different, different uh, operation in Philippines, Hong Kong, Singapore, Singapore, Malaysia, North America as well in Canada and USA. So they are a female importer and uh, kind of footwear producer. They produce uh, female footwear and they distribute as well. So they have both model B2B and B2C and uh, they have online presence as well. So they use Shopify website for e-commerce and backend they are using Udo for end to end operation. In today's discussion, I will talk more about the technical challenges that as a customer has faced in the in the process, how we mitigate that, what are the key features, solution that we have given as a company, as a brainware, and what are the results outcome they have derived. So generally in this industry, the uh, what happens like if you're having eight country operations so imagine like lots of uh, movement happening of stock manufacturing happening at different different my locations so as a as an owner i just want to have a consolidated view like what's thing happening at my which production plan so the challenges client was facing before udu was there is a no consolidated centralized system where i can visualize what is my uh, stock movement how much stock is there in my this warehouse uh, there is no centralized uh, uh, reporting of PNL balance sheet. They were using QuickBook, but the capabilities of consolidation was not there at a certain level. Uh, they were lacking into marketplace integration. So the uh, the integration, they're selling, they were di having different, different channels. So each country, whoever the marketplace integrator are there, they are adding their products or catalog into that website. So in, uh, if you talk about Amazon, Walmart, eBay, Shopee, Lazada, in India, Flipkart, TikTok, all these marketplaces they are utilizing for selling their products apart from their own website. So struggle was having such kind of product catalog 
with different different APIs, with different different parameters, attributes, uploading over there with images, multi images, SEO related meta tag, all this kind of managing under one solution that was a challenge. So they were struggling with that. We'd given consultation. We showcased to do. We told like, okay, this can be done. We already have a similar case study in Singapore, MBT Sus, where they are having 27 country operation. So they liked it and they thought, okay, which are we are near to this operation, so we can also implement. And that's how they got a confidence and uh, we delivered such kind of solution. Uh, in terms of uh, manufacturing, there was so much issue in terms of bill of material, the components they were missing, and a uh, few to start a production, right? If it's a byproduct kind of thing for other material, you require a kind of manufacture first and then you, you, you can utilize as a main finished product. So there was no kind of visibility, okay, how much other subcomponents are missing. So we given a kind of automated solution where from BOM screen, like from manufacturing order screen itself, you can raise and request of PO, it will be in draft PO, but whatever the procurement which are missing, uh, if you have a selected vendor for that, you can raise a PO from there. So how we did improvement using Voodoo for our customer, like 20 marketplace integration we did. So he got a 360 degree visibility of uh, their sales. They were having 2000 per day sales order in their website. So we integrated their Shopify and other marketplace. Centralized procurement that we did. So they are pro procuring sometimes from China. So whole container they will procure. So the PO process, blanket agreement, tender process, we make sure that we configure in a right way so the procure management manager can utilize the purchase module in efficient way. Uh, material transfer. So sometimes you have, you have nearby location like in Indonesia and Philippines. So few materials if you are having less stock at one location, how to do internal transfer between my warehouse to warehouse. So that mechanism that we given, so they can easily transfer or they can easily create a lot number, serial number at one location. So again, at a different location, if you are using Udu only, so you don't need to again create a lot number of sequences or inverts kind of thing, because it's just using one database, one system. So it should be easy. So there, there wherever the again stock is going on, Rework should not be there. So we're given such kind of automation. Like if, if my stock is coming from my, my own company, then I don't need to go with the same route. It will be very easy. The label printing will be already there. I just need to scan the barcode for that lot and pick, uh, put it into myself. Yeah, whole tracking of barcode management using Udo mobile app that we are given for inward, outward, internal movement, cycle count, uh, cross docking, everything we have given with the barcode management application. Um, in terms of shipping gateways, so there are uh, certain other modules also available, shipping gateway, ShipStation, Shippy Pro. So we've leveraged that kind of extension. For this client, we integrated with Shippy Pro gateway for last mile delivery fulfillment process. So this is consolidated ERP inventory module view where as an owner, as an admin can visualize in from which areas, how many receipts are there, from which location, from which country. So from one view itself, they can get a detailed view. So this was our talking about all kind of marketplace that we have integrated with Udo. So you name it, we have integrated. So you take about Amazon, Flipkart, Zalora, Shopee, TikTok, Walmart, uh, Nika, Shippy Pro, AliExpress, so all these different, different marketplace. The challenges was like each will have their own API. You need to understand, you need to get that information, map with Udo features, uh, line by line, field by field. So we did that exercise. And what we did in a smart way, uh, wherever the few APIs are matching, we consolidated, created one kind of our plugin. So you don't need to again, uh, if, if for another customer, you can ready-made use that extension kind of thing. So region-wise region extension we created. So for example, in uh, Middle East or uh, in Europe region, if there are certain marketplace, so that all five marketplace consolidated one plugin that we're given. So that extension you can use for that region specifically. So all this kind of customer data synchronization, order, payment, status update, 
product category, product attributes. It's a bi-directional synchronization we did with Udo and such marketplace. We did Shopify Udo integration as well because client was having a good presence uh, online. Uh, the SEO thing, the Google Analytics were already up. The URL was already crawling on the Google. So they don't want to migrate. So we told, okay, no problem. We can integrate with your Shopify. We can leverage your current presence of Google and uh, ranking. So we can utilize that. So we did bi-directional syncing with Udo and Shopify. There are few detailed technical enhancement also we did on top of Udo. So one of the cool feature that we did is, is container management. So such kind of big organization, when they are producing or production, having a different, different plant, they're procuring container and container from different country. So how can, as a purchase manager, aware, like in one container, how much product is going to fit? So what we did from Udo in purchase order module itself, in a PO, when you select a vendor uh, name and you select a product line item, if you add 10 line item, and then still the container have capacity, based on the volume and cubic centimeter, system will suggest you, you can add more 10 items to this container to make it sure like it's fully packed, right? If it's overloaded, then also system give you alert warning message, like you already planned for certain things, but the container will not surface this much kind of a pallet or lot, then you can plan for different PO. So such kind of automation that we did, and that helped really in terms of managing the PO. Uh, we did the inward outward process using put away rules, which is kind of you can configure different different put away strategies, storage capacity strategies, default in Udo configuration, so that will uh, help you out as well. Real time synchronization via API, uh, we did uh, Udo architecture for multi threading because when you need to think about, like, if you're doing such kind of that much API integration, there are lots of back and forth hit between marketplace and Udo. So how to optimize that hit, right? So we did multi-threading, multi-cron jobs. So at the same moment, you can have parallel synchronization of data into one database Udo. Uh, we, we, we try to make sure like all the checks and balances in Udo are in place. So user doesn't make mistake. So whatever scanning that on a Udo barcode app they are doing, they are scanning the correct product. If they are doing mistake, then system give you alert warning message. Like, okay, hey, you, you are scanning this product, but you are scanning the different variant. The product is same. The variant that in a picking list is different. So uh, that's, this will give you kind of highlights and a warning message. It will prevent in terms of doing the wrong thing. Otherwise, what happens, like you will f uh, go in a uh, route, like you need to return, you need to do credit, accounting entries you need to do. So it will be long process to mitigate that. We give an uh, alert warning message. Lots of inputs after implementing this whole case study, the customer got a tremendous benefit in terms of sales. So 33% of its sales has been increased. 95% accuracy in terms of accounting, reconciliation, different different country, uh, consolidation, uh, automation with the bank's integration that we have done. So they have uh, used that as well. Uh, FIX in terms of ROI increased in last 2.5 years itself. 3x capacity has been increased after implementing automation of UDU features of manufacturing and distribution in inventory module. And operational uh, efficiency they boosted by 2x. So this kind of uh, benefit they got uh, using Udo. Yeah, these are a few of our clients similar to in that domain itself into retail apparel uh, branding where uh, we did for apparel industry in Nike, Fossil, uh, Coliseum. They are also into uh, USA for school uniform manufacturer and apparel business. So we given Udo for them. Uh, Rack Cinemic. Uh, Larson Jewelers, Super Asia. So somewhere we have implemented similar kind of solution. Yeah, thank you so much. Would be happy to give you consultation or any answer, any queries that you have. Let's see if we have some questions already, not sure. yet. Ah, yes, we have one. So 
How do you handle the different taxes when you sell from one state to another one? Yeah, good question. So what we did is like uh, each country localization that we configured, right? And we make sure like, okay, if you're selling inter-company or inter-country as well, so that taxation, whatever applied on that, for example, I'm sending to Dubai, so that VAT-related portion, I apply to that invoice. Uh. So we have configured in a such a way based, based on localization, uh, country-wise. And we have kind of subject matter experts in accounting, so they're exactly aware to how the finance-related things need to be taken care of as a Udu configuration. Okay, interesting. Um, one question else is coming, maybe a question from my side. What was the hardest proud, uh, part of this integration, or yeah, on this integration? Yeah, so the main challenges, uh, challenge you can see is uh, API integration, right? So you're dependent on third party. So mm -hmm. you need to constantly coordinate with the te technical support team yeah. of that marketplace. So what information I want might be they are not going to share as it is. Mm -hmm. So I need to be, do back and forth. I need to ask certain things. Okay, give me this uh, in this file, JSON file, or XML RPC, or REST API. So it requires kind of back and forth, or mm -hmm. this was the main challenges and time consuming thing. Mm -hmm. But once you set for that marketplace, you are exactly know how much touch points required, so you can create your own product. Okay, and is the maintenance then really hard of the APIs or is it okay? No, no. So generally you need to see if they're in update at, a, at a their level, at API mm -hmm. level, that patches that we need yeah. to upgrade. But generally it's every six months or one year. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, one other question. Does it integrate well, does it uh, does the consolidation integrate well with Odoo or do you have developed something on your own side? Consolidation, we used the Udo default. Udo accounting consolidation module is now that much powerful, like multi country localization can mm -hmm. be done. Inter company elimination entries can be done, mm -hmm. as Pavian mentioned now. And uh, we, we have done that consolidation, PL balance sheet, standard Udo only. Okay. Um, what PIM was used, uh, Odoo was integrated with? PIM. 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 Yeah. So right now we we have uh, used Udo standard product configurator only uh, mm -hmm. to manage the variance, pricing, uh, costing, and everything with the standard okay. thing. Ah, okay. Um, how big can be the catalog for catalog for synchronization in real time? So that's why we multi-threading that we did, right? Otherwise, it's a long process in terms of signing and getting the updates okay. from the marketplace or e-commerce. Okay. So. Uh, we have deployed on AWS, we used microservices, so to make sure like uh, the synchronization should not take much time. It should be quick and real time, and it's in millisecond. Uh, okay, fast, whoa, okay. Um, what servers do you have? Server? Yes. Uh, we generally depends on the uh, case study by case study. If it's a small operation, we use Udo SH, mm -hmm. but such kind of enterprise level of uh, implementation, we prefer AWS. Okay. Okay, um, I think we have uh, time for one more question. Do you think the new branch management feature of Odoo 17 could replace Odoo consolidation? I would not say it will replace, <laughs> but it can be leveraged or utilized in a certain way where you can integrate or utilize branch management feature as well mm -hmm. and some of the feature of consolidation, uh -huh. but it won't be 100% replacement. Okay. That was it, I think, for today. Yes, no questions anymore. Thank you very Thank much. You so Thank much. you for Thank the you. talk. Thank you, everyone.